Hello, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. In this video, we will discuss financial goals. To improve your financial situation, you have to assess where you are today and set goals you want to achieve. Kung baga sa paggawa ng bahay, dapat alam mo kung ano ang finished product, ano ang kulay, ilang rooms, ilang floor, saan ang bintana, saan ang CR, dapat specific. Before tayo mag-compute ng sample financial goal, let us discuss first the rule of money. Understand how money works. Ito yung tinatawag ni Albert Einstein na the power of compound interest, the rule of 72. Pag dinivide mo daw sa 72, yung rate of return na binibigay sa'yo kung saan ka naglalagay ng pera, makukuha mo yung number of years kung kailan dodoble pera mo. For example, 1% ang interest na binibigay sa'yo sa savings account mo. 72 divided by 1 equals 72 years, meaning 72 years pa bago dumoble pera mo. Bakit 72? For example, on the first year, may 100 ka na kumikita ng 1% per year. On the second year, 101 na siya kasi kumita na ng 1% or piso. On the third year, 102.01 na. Yung 101, kumita ng 1%, kaya naging 102.01. Bago dumoble yung 100 pesos mo sa year 1, 72 years pa ang aantayin mo para maging 200. Another example, kung nasa 1% ang kinikita ng pera mo, at the age of 29, may 10,000 ka, 29 plus 72, at the age of 101, congratulations, dumoble na pera mo, 20,000. Maantay mo pa ba yan? Kaya importante yung time and rate of return para mabilis dumoble pera mo. Magsample ulit tayo kung 4% per year ang kinikita ng pera mo, 72 divided by 4 equals 18. Every 18 years, dodoble pera mo. Kaya kung at the age of 29, may one-time investment ka na 100,000, 29 plus 18 years, at the age of 47, doble na pera mo, 200,000 na. Plus 18 years uli at the age of 65, dodoble uli pera mo, may 400,000 ka na. Enough na bang pang retarian? Paano kung 8% mo nilagay pera mo? Mas mabedi 72 divided by 8 equals 9. Every 9 years, dodoble pera mo. Kaya kung at the age of 29, may one-time investment ka na 100,000. After 9 years, at the age of 38, dodoble na pera mo, 200,000. Plus 9 years at the age of 47, may 400,000 ka na. After 9 years uli at the age of 56, may 800,000 ka na. And at the age of 65, may 1.6 million ka na. Pansinin mo, dinoble lang natin yung rate from 4% to 8%. Akala ko dati, dodoble lang yung 400,000. Magiging 800,000. Pero naging 4 times siya ng 400,000. Kasi yung interest, nagi interest din. Kaya power of compound interest. Paano kung sa 12%? May mga investment facilities na pwedeng magbigay sa iyo ng 12%. Kung nasa 12%, mas mabilis. Every 6 years, dodoble pera mo. Kaya kung at the age of 29, may 100,000 kang one-time investment, plus 6 years at the age of 35, 200,000 na. After 6 years at the age of 41, 400,000 na. Plus 6 years at the age of 47, 800,000 na. Plus 6 years at the age of 53, 1.6 million na. Plus 6 years at the age of 59, 3.2 million na. And after 6 years, 6.4 million na. Maraming Pinoy ang di alam how money works. Kaya madalas ang pera nakalagay lang sa 4% ang return or 1% or less. If you don't know how money works, 6 million ang pwedeng mawala sa'yo. Kasi nasa wrong facility ang pera mo. The secret of the wealthy is learning how money works. Ngayon alam mo na kung bakit ang mayaman, lalong yung mayaman, at ang mahirap, lalong humihirap. I have a specific sample here of financial goals with the assumption of 10% rate of return on your investment. For travel fund, travel fund is 1 million, saving period is 10 years, You need to save and invest 4,882 per month in 10 years to hit your 1 million goal. Second, for education fund of one child, your target fund is 1 million. Saving period is 15 years. You need to save and invest 2,413 per month 
in 15 years to hit your 1 million goal. Third is retirement fund. Your target fund is 9.6 million. Saving period is 24 years. You need to save and invest 8,069 per month in 24 years to hit your 9.6 million goal. To hit these three goals, you need to save and invest 15,364 a month. In the next part of this video, I will show to you how to compute for your retirement fund. Paano ba nakuha yung 9.6 million na goal at paano ba mag-compute ng kung magkano ang dapat i-save to hit your goal? First, write your age now and your ideal retirement age. Our example is age 26 and the ideal retirement age is 50. So, you have 24 year saving period. Second question, what is the present value of your ideal retirement income? In our example, 20,000 a month income is the target. Times 12, so 240,000 a year ang target retirement income. Present value pa lang to. So, we need to consider inflation rate. Kasi ang 20,000 ngayon, iba na ang value pag age 50 mo dahil sa inflation. Let us assume an average inflation rate of 6% a year. Gamitin natin yung concept ng rule of 72. 72 divided by 6 which refers to inflation rate, equals 12. Every 12 years, do double yung value ng income. Ilang 12 years meron sa 24-year saving period? Dalawa. So, yung 20,000 na monthly target income mo at age 26, magiging 40,000 a month na after 12 years or at the age of 38 at times to uli, 80,000 a month na at age 50 or yung 240,000 per year na target income mo at age 26, magiging 480,000 a year na after 12 years or at age 38, at times to uli, 960,000 a year na at age 50. Ang goal natin, yung 960,000 retirement income mo, ay kinikita lang ng investment mo. Yung 960,000 ay interest lang ng investment mo. Ang tawag dyan, passive income. Assuming rate of return of 10% per year, 960,000 divided by 10% equals 9.6 million. You need retirement fund of 9.6 million by the age of 50. Meaning, yung naipon mo na 9.6 million at the age of 50 ang magiging source of income mo. Ang tawag dyan, money working for you or living on interest. Kasi by the age of 50, kahit wala ka ng job, may permanent income ka na 960,000 a year dahil may investment fund ka na nagtatrabaho para sa iyo. To hit your goal of 9.6 million, you need to save 8,069 for 24 years. Paano ba na-compute yung 8,069? I will show that on next slides. First, you need to download and install a financial calculators application. Ito po ang itsura ng app. Next, Take note of important information na need natin sa computation. Tatlo lang naman. Future value is equal to 9.6 million. Annual rate of return is 10%. Bakit 10%? On the average kasi, investment return is around 10% per year. Saving period, convert it in number of months. So, in our example, 24 years times 12 equals 288 months. Step 1, go to Financial Calculators app. Step 2, go to TVM calculator. TVM means time value of money. Step 3, enter future value, annual rate of return, and saving period. Again, in our example, FV is 9.6 million, annual rate of return is 10%, and saving period is 288 months. Step 4, press PMT or payment. Payment is equal to monthly savings. So, in our example, you need to save 8,069 in 288 months to hit your target fund of 9.6 million. Again, sa pinakita kong samples kanina, we have a target travel fund of 1 million and education fund of 1 million also. So, let's compute kung paano nakuha yung monthly savings na 4,882 for travel fund and 2,413 for education fund. Again, let's use financial calculators app. Press reset to clear. 
To compute for required savings for travel fund, enter FV of 1 million, annual rate of return of 10%, and saving period of 10 years, so that's 120 months. Press PMT or payment, so you need to save and invest 4,882 in 120 months to hit your goal of 1 million travel fund. For our third sample, press reset to clear. To compute for required savings for education fund, enter FV of 1 million, annual rate of return of 10%, and saving period of 15 years, so that's 180 months. Press PMT or payment, so you need to save and invest 2,413 in 180 months to hit your goal of 1 million education fund. I hope marami kayong natutunan. So, start computing your target savings per month. Importante na may financial plan tayo at specific ang computation. Without a strong reason or purpose, anything in life is hard. Mahirap kumita ng pera, mahirap disiplinahin ang sarili, mahirap ang mag-ipon, pero para sa mga taong may goal, may inspire kang gawin ang lahat ng to.